12 reactions your body has when taking 5 grams of creatine per day. You probably already know that creatine helps with physical performance and muscle recovery. What most people don't know is that when we consume the standard recommended dose of 5 grams, our body experiences a series of reactions, both positive and some others that deserve attention, especially if you're over 40 or 50 years old. That's why today you'll see the 12 reactions that happen in your body when you regularly supplement with creatine. Stay tuned until the end, because nobody talks about number 5. Oh, and just to be clear, we're not trying to sell anything here. You won't see any advertisements or recommendations in that sense. Only real effects will be presented, based on science. Before we begin, please tell us in the comments your name and the city where you're watching our content from. We'd love to know. Reaction number 1. Possible Gastrointestinal Discomfort Let's start with a reaction that many people experience, but few understand the reason behind. During the first weeks of creatine supplementation, some individuals may feel abdominal bloating, gas, mild cramps, or even diarrhea. This happens through a very specific body mechanism. Creatine has an osmotic property, meaning it attracts water into the intestine. When you consume 5 grams of creatine, it passes through your digestive tract and, through osmotic pressure, pulls water molecules to that region. This water movement can generate the sensation of bloating and, in some cases, accelerate intestinal transit, causing looser stools. What happens is that your body is still adapting to this new substance and the water flow it provokes. But here's the good news. These symptoms tend to decrease significantly over time. Generally, after two to three weeks of consistent use, your digestive system adapts and the discomforts drastically reduce or disappear completely. To minimize these initial effects, you can divide the dose into two smaller intakes throughout the day. For example, 2.5 grams in the morning and 2.5 grams in the afternoon. Another effective strategy is to consume creatine along with a meal containing carbohydrates, which helps dilute the osmotic effect and improves absorption. Number 2. Improvement in Mental Health and Cognitive Function Here's a reaction that surprises many people because most associate creatine only with muscles. What many people don't know is that your brain also uses the ATP energy system, exactly the same one your muscles use during training. Creatine provides quick energy to neural cells, and this has profound implications for your mental performance. When you supplement with creatine, it crosses the blood-brain barrier and increases phosphocreatine stores in the brain. This means your neural cells have faster access to energy when they need to perform cognitively demanding tasks. Studies demonstrate significant improvements in working memory, which is that short-term memory you use, to solve immediate problems. Fluid intelligence, your ability to reason and solve new problems, also receives a boost. Additionally, creatine reduces mental fatigue, especially in situations of sleep deprivation or prolonged stress. Imagine your brain as a high-performance engine. Creatine ensures it has premium fuel available at all times. The neuroprotective effects are also impressive. Research is investigating the use of creatine in treating depression, bipolar disorder, and even in preventing Alzheimer's. Number 3. Potential to reduce blood glucose. This is an extremely relevant reaction, but one that goes unnoticed by most. Creatine has a direct effect on glucose metabolism, and this can be a game-changer for your glycemic control. The mechanism works like this. Creatine supplementation increases the expression of glucose transporters in muscle cells. These transporters are like doors that allow glucose to enter from the blood into the cells. With more doors open, more glucose can leave the bloodstream and enter the muscles. This improves insulin sensitivity by up to 23%, a quite significant number. And do you know why this happens? When your muscles can capture glucose more efficiently, your pancreas doesn't need to release as much insulin to do the same job. This reduces stress on the pancreatic beta cells, those responsible for producing insulin, and decreases the risk of developing insulin resistance over time. For people who already have problems with glycemic control, such as pre-diabetics or type 2 diabetics, this property of creatine is especially beneficial. Number 4. Possible Initial Subcutaneous Water Retention Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Having constant access to science-based information 
is what will make you progress with health in the long term in the world of bodybuilding. Now let's talk about an effect that deserves special attention, especially in the first weeks of supplementation. Water retention is frequently mentioned when talking about creatine, but most people understand only half the story. Yes, creatine causes intramuscular water retention, which is positive and desirable. However, in some individuals, subcutaneous water retention may also occur, that which stays between the skin and the muscle. This can result in a slightly more swollen appearance or an increase of two to seven pounds on the scale during the initial phase. For those seeking immediate muscle definition, or who have specific aesthetic goals, such as a competition or upcoming event, this initial effect can be concerning. You look in the mirror and feel you're less defined, even while maintaining your diet rigorously. But here's the crucial point. This effect is temporary. After a few weeks, generally three to four, the body tends to normalize and eliminate excess subcutaneous water, maintaining only the beneficial intramuscular retention that contributes to muscle volume and strength. For people over 40 years old, especially postmenopausal women who may already experience greater water retention naturally due to hormonal changes, it's important to be aware of this initial effect. Number five, increased bone density. And here's the reaction that practically nobody mentions, but which may be one of the most important benefits, especially as we age. Creatine doesn't work only on muscles. It also plays a fundamental role in the health of your bones. The mechanism is fascinating. When you supplement creatine and combine it with resistance exercises, you create the perfect environment for bone strengthening. Creatine helps increase and maintain bone mineral density through multiple pathways. First, it improves your ability to train with heavier loads, and it's precisely this mechanical overload on bones that stimulates positive bone remodeling. Each time you lift a weight, your bones experience micro-stresses that signal the body to strengthen them. With creatine, you can train heavier and for longer, multiplying this effect. Second, creatine directly influences the metabolism of bone cells. It activates osteoblasts, the cells responsible for building new bone tissue while reducing the activity of osteoclasts, those that break down old bone tissue. For people over 50 years old, when bone density loss naturally accelerates, this benefit can be the difference between maintaining independence or facing debilitating fractures. Osteoporosis is a silent condition that affects millions, and any strategy that strengthens bones deserves attention. Number six, effects on the kidneys. Let's directly address one of the biggest concerns people have about creatine. The question that always comes up, does creatine harm the kidneys? The short and direct answer is no. Creatine is completely safe for the kidneys in healthy people. But let's understand what really happens so you can make informed decisions. When you consume creatine, it's metabolized by the body and eventually transforms into creatinine, a breakdown product that's filtered by the kidneys and eliminated in urine. Blood tests measure creatinine levels to assess kidney function. Here's where the confusion begins. Creatine supplementation can temporarily elevate blood creatinine levels, but this doesn't reflect deterioration of kidney function. It's simply a natural increase in the substrate. Imagine a factory that processes more raw material. It will naturally have more byproducts. But that doesn't mean the factory is broken. Dozens of long-term studies, some lasting more than five years, confirm that creatine doesn't cause kidney damage in individuals with normal kidney function. What you need to do is maintain adequate hydration, about three quarts of water per day. Creatine needs water to function, and your kidneys need water to filter adequately. If you have a history of kidney problems, recurrent kidney stones, or chronic kidney disease, then yes, you should consult your doctor before starting supplementation and do regular monitoring. Number seven, improvement in cardiovascular health. This reaction surprises many people because we rarely associate creatine with the heart, but your heart is a muscle and a muscle that never stops working. Creatine plays a crucial role in cardiac energy metabolism. The heart needs constant energy to pump blood, and the phosphocreatine system ensures this energy is always available, especially during stressful situations or intense effort. One of the most significant benefits is protection against ischemic damage. When blood flow to the heart is reduced, even temporarily, having adequate phosphocreatine stores helps cardiac cells survive better in this low oxygen situation. Additionally, creatine has demonstrated a reduction in homocysteine levels by approximately 10%. 
Homocysteine is an amino acid that when elevated represents an important risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, including atherosclerosis and cardiac events. By maintaining lower homocysteine levels, you're literally protecting your arteries. Creatine also contributes to blood pressure control through improvement of endothelial function. The endothelium is the internal lining of blood vessels, and when it functions well, vessels can dilate and contract adequately in response to the body's demands. Number 8. Reduction of Fatigue and Mood Improvement Beyond the cognitive benefits already mentioned, creatine demonstrates significant effects in reducing general fatigue and improving mood, especially in situations of sleep deprivation or prolonged stress. Can you imagine the impact of this on your daily life? The mechanism involves maintaining brain ATP levels, which tend to drop during periods of intense mental or physical stress. When you're exhausted, whether from a bad night's sleep or an intense work period, your brain ATP levels plummet. It's as if your brain's battery is low. Creatine functions as a fast charger, restoring these levels and allowing you to maintain mental and emotional performance even in adverse conditions. Studies show that supplementation can reduce chronic fatigue symptoms by up to 40%. That's not a small thing. Think about how many days you drag yourself through the morning feeling that tiredness that doesn't go away even with coffee. Creatine also improves markers of emotional well-being. You may notice you get less irritated with situations that would normally bother you, have more patience to deal with challenges, and maintain a more positive perspective even under pressure. For people over 40, who frequently deal with multiple professional, family, and personal responsibilities, this effect can mean greater daily energy, better willingness to train, and greater resilience to everyday stress. Number 9. Improvement in Muscle Recovery Here we enter one of the best-known benefits, but one that deserves to be understood in depth. Creatine significantly accelerates your recovery between workouts, and understanding how this works can transform your results. When you train intensely, you deplete the phosphocreatine stores in muscle cells. Creatine supplementation increases these stores, ensuring you have larger energy reserves for the next session. But that's not all. Creatine accelerates cellular regeneration itself. During training, you cause micro-injuries to muscle fibers, and it's in the process of repairing these injuries that the muscle grows. Creatine provides energy for this repair process, making it faster and more efficient you may notice significant reduction in delayed onset muscle soreness, that stiffness sensation that appears one to two days after intense workouts. This allows you to return to training more quickly without compromising session quality. The intramuscular water retention that creatine promotes also favors protein synthesis. Well-hydrated muscle cells create a more favorable anabolic environment for growth. It's as if you created the perfect terrain for building new muscle tissue. Number 10. Benefit in Vegetarian and Vegan Diets If you follow a vegetarian or vegan diet, pay close attention to this reaction. Creatine is found naturally only in animal products, mainly red meat and fish. Vegetarians have 20 to 30% less creatine stored in muscles compared to people who regularly consume meat. This means your muscles are operating with reduced energy reserves from the start. When vegetarians begin supplementing creatine, the results are often more dramatic than in omnivores. Supplementation results in significantly greater gains in strength, power, and lean mass in vegetarians because they're filling a much larger deficit. It's like filling a tank that was half full versus one that was already almost full. Cognitive improvements are also more pronounced. Studies show notable enhancements in memory and intelligence tests in vegetarians who supplement creatine superior to those observed in omnivores. For vegetarian athletes or bodybuilding practitioners who follow plant-based diets, creatine is not just an optional supplement, it's practically essential to reach your maximum potential. You'll literally be leveling the playing field with your colleagues who consume meat. Number 11. Prevents muscle aging. This is one of the most important reactions for those over 50 years old. Sarcopenia, which is the progressive loss of muscle mass related to age, is not an inevitable destiny. Creatine directly combats this degenerative process. As we age, we naturally lose muscle mass at a rate of approximately 1-2% to per year after 50. This doesn't just affect your appearance, it impacts your independence, mobility, and quality of life. Studies demonstrate that adults over 60 years old who combined resistance training with creatine supplementation 
obtained lean mass gains three times greater compared to those who only trained, three times more. This happens because creatine partially compensates for the decline in mitochondrial efficiency that occurs with age. Your mitochondria, the power plants of cells, become less efficient over the years. Creatine ensures you still have fast energy available even when ATP production through the mitochondrial pathway is compromised. Maintaining adequate muscle mass in old age prevents falls, maintains elevated metabolism, preserves bone density, and guarantees functional independence. Number 12. Promotes resistance to oxidative stress. We close with a reaction that connects all the previous benefits. Oxidative stress is the accumulation of free radicals in the body, unstable molecules that damage cells and accelerate aging. Intense exercises, although beneficial, temporarily increase free radical production. Creatine offers significant protection against this damage. It reduces markers of oxidative damage after high-intensity exercises, functioning as a cellular protection that doesn't compromise the positive adaptations of training. And do you know why this is important? Many people take antioxidants in excess thinking they're protecting themselves, but high doses of antioxidants can interfere with the signaling pathways necessary for muscle growth. Creatine offers protection without this negative side effect. It protects cells from excessive damage while allowing growth pathways to function normally. Additionally, this antioxidant property contributes to the neuroprotective benefits we discussed earlier. Now, if you're decided to take creatine, you need to know. There are 10 mistakes that most people who take this supplement make without knowing, and that unfortunately, besides increasing the negative reactions, still throw all its potential in the trash. If you want to know what these 10 common mistakes are, we left a video appearing right now on the screen showing better each one of them. Don't fail to check it out. Thank you for watching until here and God bless you, my friend.